Hey everyone, hope you're all doing very well and welcome back to another video here on the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at two battery packs that have really, really good performance. In fact, the first one that we're gonna be taking a look at has appeared on the channel multiple times. This is the current number one position for the best performing lithium polymer battery pack that we've tested on the channel. So far, we've tested a bunch of 5,000 milliamp hour or so capacity battery packs and this has performed the best in terms of power output. Now this is the SMC 5300 milliamp hour 4S SRD V3 battery pack that's ultimately meant for speed runs and drag racing where you're gonna pull a ton of power for short bursts and what you need there in order to do it is the lowest resistance that you can get so that you get the highest amount of current because the voltage sag is gonna be reduced. We're gonna put this battery pack up against what I would consider more of a value pack that delivers excellent performance and not too far behind I expect this battery pack to perform very well this is the CNHL 5200 milliamp hour pack it's got this green black and white label on it there are a bunch of different CNHL battery packs and they are labeled differently we had one that was tested on the channel known as the G plus it performs very similar to this in fact has different ratings but back to this one this is the CNHL 90 C 5200 milliamp hour pack that delivers excellent performance. We have the AS150 connectors on both of these battery packs and we're gonna put them to the ultimate test. With that being said, let's go ahead and now compare the price point that you pay for this LiPo over the CNHL. Let's start off by talking about the pricing here. And when I looked up the price of the SMC, the very first thing that I saw here is that the V3 looks to be discontinued and they already have the V4 out. So this is the SRD V4 LiPo coming from SMC. What this does mean is that there's a couple assumptions that I'm making here in this video. The first one is, is that the pricing would be very similar. It should be within, you know, a close approximation for value here. And we're looking Looking at 80 USD for this SRD V4 and the other assumption that I'm making here which I'm going to talk about is that the V4 performs very similarly to the V3. Now we won't know that for sure until we bring the V4 in and have that specific battery tested. However one thing I do want to know when it comes to lithium polymer battery packs in our industry when a lithium polymer manufacturer or in this case brand decides to either switch a supplier or they get forced to switch their supplier. This is where things can drastically change for that specific battery. You can have a really good performing battery pack one day and that can all of a sudden change the next day. We don't know anything. The V3 going to a V4 doesn't necessarily mean that has happened. In fact, in the case of the other battery packs, it could have happened, but they wear the same label with all the same data sets. Because if anything changes beyond that, we won't have that captured. You won't know and I won't know. So with that being said, 80 USD is what we're having here for the SMC because that's the data that we have here today. And for the CNHL, we're looking at a price point of 90 USD which includes two of these packs. And for that kind of price, you're getting it down to 45 a piece. And if you get it on sale, you can see here at the bottom for $38 USD, you can get up, you can pick up a pack here for the 5,200. This is an incredible price for the amount of power potential that you have. We are comparing the best battery that I have here versus this CNHL and the price point here is incredible. Let's get now into the data set and take a look at this. I'm gonna elegantly move myself over into the corner here. And now that we have that done, I wanna talk about what we're seeing in this graph. In this graph, we got the SMC, which is represented by the dark color of bars that you see on the screen. And I tried to get a representation of what the CNHL looks like. That's why you have the green mixed into this orange gradient sort of thing going on. And each one of these data sets are taken from a slice of time 
time, from one instance in time. Here we have where the max current has been produced by each of the battery pack. This typically happens within the first couple seconds of loading up the battery. Then you have at the 10 second mark, 30 second mark, and then at the voltage cutoff. And the voltage cutoff for this particular battery set here is 3.3 volts. All the load tests that I do, it's 3.3 volts. So not just this battery set, but everything on the channel. So let's get into it and talk about the wattage here at max current. Maximum wattage you get out of the SMC is over 1800 watts. This is just an incredible value coming from this 5000 milliamp hour you know, class battery pack, 1811 is the value, 1747 for the CNHL, which is a very respectable amount of power uh, coming out of that CNHL. Moving into the 10 second mark, we have 1702 being pushed from the SMC versus 1620 on the CNHL. And then we got here at the 30 second mark, 1629 versus versus 1543 on our CNHL. And the last one here at the cutoff, this is going to be 1280 versus 1247. So what we definitely see when we compare all these values is that the SMC definitely has that punch that is beyond the CNHL, but it's not to the greatest extent that you might expect, especially from a battery pack that you could potentially buy on sale for $38 versus this one here at somewhere around the $80 mark. That's quite a bit of money you're gonna be paying in order to grab this extra performance. If you think we should bring in that V4 pack, let me know in the comment section below. All right guys, now let's take a look at what battery pack would you want to pick up depending on your specific application. Is it worth going with the SMC or is it okay for you to use the CNHL in your specific application? So what I would recommend for many people out there is that the CNHL lithium polymer battery pack, this is going to do extremely well in terms of the performance that you get out of this pack for most applications. For things like your typical basher style radio control car type vehicle. This is going to be a pack that's going to allow you to save that money, but still get some excellent performance from it and low operating temperatures as well. Now, if you're looking for that insane amount of power, this is the pack that's going to give you above and beyond everyone else. The SMC pack is excellent to deliver those high amounts of current, which is going to be found and be typical in specific electric ducted fans jets as well as your top speed run cars and excellent for radio control boats that see a very high load similar to EDFs for the entire duration of a pack. This is where you're going to want to get yourself something that has that extra punch that you can take advantage over. But if that's still not exactly what you're looking for and you still have those high demand applications, chances are this is going to do exactly what you need it to do, but just not give you the absolute top performance that you can possibly expect from lithium polymer battery packs. Well guys, that pretty well does it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, like the video if you do. Don't forget to hit that sub button so that I can see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.